being an artist allowed me to create entire worlds and to be alone in the studio and to be able to create these worlds sort of I think gave me um, the, the time to envision things where I could imagine things out in the world. When I was in school, I um, was an artist and I was a very right-brained person. I was a terrible student and the only thing that, that I was interested in was art. And yet I couldn't, I couldn't draw very well. And when I discovered fabric, it was like I had magic hands. And I could do anything in fabric. I'm a quilt maker and have been for 41 years. I know that because that's the age of my son Daedalus and that's when I started because he was given an extraordinary uh, crazy quilt for a birth present and um, I, it inspired me to take up quilting. I'm not the type who is good at precision work and so I evolved into doing fabric collage using uh, Paul Clay and, and Matisse and Picasso and Modigliani, people whose work I could copy in fabric. You know, one of the great discoveries I had was finding how much pleasure I got from helping people to express themselves artistically. So I decided I was going to start working with kids um, who, were, who were not exposed to art. These kids came from very tough lives and they talked, not to me necessarily, but among themselves and knew I was listening about, you know, the kinds of things they saw on the street and, um, you know, the difficulties that their parents had. I was having an artist store at Christmas time and so I, with a group of other artists and I invited them to be part of that and so they made pillows and needless to say when these pillows showed up at the artist store they were um, instantly sold and it was so exciting for me to see these kids have uh, su this kind of success.